So this Lenovo laptop right here, which is not a ThinkPad, came in for data recovery. So it's pretty dead. It's not responding to anything. I mean, it's showing up that it's charging. Definitely trying to turn on, but nothing comes on the screen. Uh, so after some research, I found out this is actually an EMMC storage one. It doesn't have an SSD. So uh, I already unscrewed the back, so we don't have to watch me unscrewing the back of the laptop. It might be a bit annoying. So here's the laptop on the inside. Let's unscrew the uh, this plate right here. That's one side. That's the other side. So that's the board removed. Not much happening on the other side. I don't feel any components here. Let's lift this thing here and see what's on the other side. Yeah, there's not much happening here on this side. It's pretty, uh, pretty empty. So we got the MMC right here. Okay, so we are going to remove the shield, I don't really need it. So now we're going to take this board over to my infrared machine and find a way to mount it in a way that we can pop this EMMC off of this board and throw in a reader. All right, so I'm at the uh, infrared machine. So the problem with this board is it's too long this way and I really would have to mount it right here so I can get access to the EMMC chip when the element is over it. So mounting in this way might not be uh, possible unless I break it, but we want to leave the board intact just in case. So I think the best thing would be to kind of mount it here. Okay, so we are by the other machine here where I have the uh, BlackBerry chip going from uh, a few weeks ago, uh, from April. Also, I'm actually filming this in April too, but uh, this video doesn't come out till, till May. So you're watching this in May, but this is actually happening all in April. Anyway, so let's, I didn't clean the chips, uh, the chip up uh, too good. I, I see some of, some of the, uh, uh, the, the, the balls on the chip are not the right size, but I just want to see if it works. I want to limit the amount of heat I'm putting through this chip. So this might not be the first time. So uh, let's go over here to this computer and see if it even detects. <clears throat> you guys remember this case I did uh, back in my video when I came back this year. So uh, this chip here that I've been running since, uh, well, it's been a month now. No, two weeks. Two weeks. 
we got 15%. So when I was showing this in a video, we were at, I think, 3% or 4%, so at 15%, we got 140 days to go. So we got a long ways to go, but we're gonna have to stop this for a minute so we can test the ship, see if it works. If it doesn't read, I'll go clean it up again. I'm gonna come back here again to try it. So let's just stop this case. Turn this off. Let's exit this. We don't wanna mess with this case. And now I'm just gonna plug in the, um, the reader in here and let's see if it shows up. All right, so we got 64 gig, it showed up right away. That's a really good sign. So let's, uh, let's just make an image of it right away so then we can do, deal with it after. So let's just create a new case. This is it here. And we're gonna image the entire chip. We're not gonna make data copy, we're just gonna do the entire chip. Okay, so we're seeing data partition. We don't see BitLocker, which is excellent. Um, let's just uh, have a look at it. Yeah, we got full file system. So we are just going to save this as a image. Okay. Full image, save, and that should start reading. Uh, we got decent speed, 20 megs a second, it's not too bad. It's actually speeding up now. That's pretty good. So that's pretty good. So that's a soft case. I'm glad the uh, chip is reading. We're trying to keep the heat at the minimum. I didn't want to kill the chip because it is a SanDisk, so we don't want to be killing that chip. Uh, I usually have bad luck with SanDisk chips, or just my luck that anytime I get them in Blackberries, they have some issues if i get them in anything other than blackberries they do work uh so i might have to change my stand a little bit on these chips anyway thanks for watching um as you notice i've been posting videos every other week not every week i mean i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it every other week but i'm filming these videos as i go and i'm just edi editing them when i have time and i'm putting them into scheduled um release on youtube uh, I'm not sure if this video is going to be posted as a premiere or not. I know I uh, the, the first video I reposted, sorry, the first video I posted that was a premiere. People really did enjoy that format. They enjoyed talking to me while the video was playing. So maybe this video you're watching right now is going to be a premiere. I don't know yet. But that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on other social media. Everything's down below in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.